How does it feel to drive a real 12 out? Yeah. Real, real powerful beast. Did it burn them? Oh, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did a little bit. It's got that posse in it, that true track. So, I mean. Take part a perfectly good engine. I know. True Bruce Wilson fashion. Yeah, man. All for the sake of horsepower. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sinflow Diesel. I'm here with Jared on his channel, and I'm going to help him get enthusiastic about working on his truck right here. So, Jared, what are we doing with this truck? We are gonna pull the head, we're gonna cut it for O-rings, and we're gonna make some freaking horsepower. That's what Jared has been on my ass about getting this truck in here to the shop and getting started on it. It's been here for what, like six months now? The tire, I'm like, Jared, I'm not pulling the shop unless you air the tires up. Yeah. And well, he, he, didn't even, he didn't even air the tires up, did you? No. no. Hold no <laughs> so we got it pulled in the shop, and we're gonna tear this thing apart. I think Jared's gonna watch. Yeah, you know what? Spectate. You know, Jared's gonna spectate. He's like, yeah, yeah pull that bolt out of right there, right. and we're gonna get this thing torn apart and get the head off of it so that we can get it firing or O-ring. Which one are you gonna do? Probably O-ring. O-ring it yeah. so that he can hold more horsepower and put compound turbos and all that good stuff. And we're pulling the injection pump off of it, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna send it to Farrell's Diesel Service. There you go. Get that bad boy filled. Get that thing flowing. All the CCs. Right. So we're gonna jump right into this. Jared's gonna get his time lapse set up on me pulling the head off the truck and see what this thing looks like.
So guys, I got the head pulled off of it. Jared had the time lapse. What do you think about that? Watching someone pull the head off your truck. Yeah, pretty cool. You ever had someone pull your head? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got the head off of it. There's something you want to tell us, bud? Yeah, unfortunately we have some damage. Uh, pulled the head off of it and cylinder number two checked out. Packed his bags, checked out. So got some scoring, uh, some piston damage. So forced upgrade time, full build. Coming at you, coming at the channel. It's gonna be a good time. Dang, you know. Hang on, let me let me see that arm right quick. Come here. Oh, forced <laughs> upgrade here. Dang. Jeez. Oh my goodness. So let's look at the scoring. So tell us about this. This is your YouTube. Oh yeah. So what? what so got what? On what happened was oh, the boy. injector got a little overzealous in the cylinder and made a little too much heat, melted our piston down, and decided to uh, take the cylinder wall with it. That's usually how that works. Give us some background info on this truck. Is this guy? Uh, how many miles are on it? Three hundred and seventy-seven thousand and some change. So, dang. She's been she's been worked. But, but, it's, but it's a virgin though. Yeah, it's a virgin truck. I mean, the tamper-proof screws are still in the AFC. Never been P pumps. Never been touched. Turned up. Timing still stock. I mean, still got the silencer ring in the charger. Come on, so you're Bruce. telling me this is a Come twenty. On, this is a twenty-two-year-old so? virgin. You don't That's find right. many of those. Oh, I know she is. Jeez, except right there. <laughs> <laughs> Still got the silencer ring in it. So. Dang. So what are your plans yeah. now? You know, just stock rebuild. Nothing crazy. Probably stock injectors back in it. Yeah. Just. Yeah, just we're not even gonna paint it, are we? No, we're just gonna leave it. And no. it you know? So guys, on Jared's head, the everything looked good. He, <laughs> so tell us what you're doing. I literally yes. pulled the head off of his truck here, set it down, and he's like, "What are we?" Yeah. He's like, "Oh." Like, oh, the looks, great. looks great. Yeah, the head looked great, but now the cylinder's, uh, yeah, not so happy. Just not happy. I'm like, eh, come over here, bud. Yeah. <laughs> that look good. You know? But we're going to, I don't remember if I even, did I talk about? So Jared and I have come up with a plan. We're going to use the engine out of the flatty, the old one just before this one, and get it built so we're not tearing this truck apart into a bajillion pieces because I already have enough yeah. bullshit here at the shop man, yeah exactly. as you can see and we want to leave it exactly how it is we're going to probably throw some saran wrap over the top of the engine just so we don't get any rust down in the bottom end which is still usable the rods and stuff so you know what this means right what's that I have three Cummins trucks not running all three of them are torpedo at my shop not, not a single not a single Cummins of mine lives <laughs> or we just take your stock common rail motor and Oh jeez, don't do that. Don't don't do stuff like that. Don't say that. Don't you I've already that? thought about a six seven. Don't say that. So we're gonna rebuild the motor that came out of the flatty. You guys need to go over to Jared's channel, check that out. He's gonna be pulling it apart <laughs> on hit. Duh. <laughs> So I'm giving Jared my old block so he can get it rebuilt, and what are you going to be doing with it? That's what happens when Bruce Wilson steals your camera and then forgets he stole your camera. It's good stuff. Jared's so, going to be pulling my old motor apart on this yeah. channel. Yeah, hopefully it'll give me some pointers and teach me how to put some of that stuff together so maybe I can learn a little bit. So you're going to get an engine, engine rebuild on this channel now? Yeah, we'll try to. Yeah. All kinds of billet sexiness? Oh, oh yeah. You get all the awesome. Parts. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, that blows, literally. Literally. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Well, I won't be doing any of the work, so there's all y'all. That's the second supervisor, and you're the first one. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm head I'm the teller of bad news. Yeah, he's branch manager. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Timmy, so. Tim, where's our, where's our applause? You gotta be clapping back there. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That works. So, what are we gonna do? When's the next upload coming? Oof. Don't do that. <laughs> Them uploads are scarce. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot more consistent, guys. Jared and I are gonna be working together a lot more often on getting some good content to you guys. We've got his '94 flatbed out yeah. back that he bought from me. We're gonna be welding the floor pan in it, getting the clutch and stuff, getting the transmission rebuilt, all kinds of cool stuff's gonna be going on with that truck. So while the engine's getting rebuilt, machine shop, we're gonna be tackling his '94 project outside and getting that one going. So that's gonna be yeah, gotta start putting it back together. So what are your plans with that truck? Uh, got 150 horse injectors, uh, 64 and a half, 68 SXE, which I've showed on the channel before. Um, it's fresh, brand new in the box, mm -hmm. so throw that on it. South end dual disc with the bigger input shaft, so it's gonna be ready to party. Probably five, five fifty wheel. Okay, okay, okay. Are we gonna do a burnout? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I hope clutch, so. Yeah, a little clutch drop challenge. We got plenty of old tires here, that's for sure. 
Yeah. We sure do. Yeah. This is not going to fit my car, but plenty around here. We're pushing about 110 out of this one now. So how do you know? Yeah. Everybody on my channel knows who this guy is. How do you know this guy? Oh, this is all halfway performance here. Halfway? Yeah. Or halfway show his face. Ew. Nope, too much. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. He's my uh, four pan cutout specialist. I think he's your therapist because I hear y'all guys talking for like hours on end every day on the phone. You just hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I had to live with him so I could deal with him enough, but you talk to him. Because oh, yeah. you're not the type to have phone conversations. I'm like, hey, where are you at? Okay, bye. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing this. Okay, bye. Whoa, okay. That's how your day's going, but never mind. All right, guys. So, unfortunate, but forced upgrades are coming. So, stick around. We'll catch you on the next one. If you enjoyed this upload, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll we'll catch you on the next one. Also, guys, go follow Jared's social media because he always forgets to yeah. plug his social media. His, I do. You have an Instagram, don't you? I do. At Simflow Diesel. You have so, a Snapchat or anything? The, uh, you got any, any other social media? I don't. No. Just, just Instagram. He's got a Facebook. Don't follow Halfway Performance. Don't follow Halfway. That's it. Yeah. And drop some comments down below on any experiences you guys have had with tearing into your truck for upgrades and finding out that you have to really upgrade yeah forced upgrade always the best upgrade peace out guys